today on Be Something Wonderful, how to manifest anything with the astonishing power of attention. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I heard from one of you that said, Tom, I'm really an emotional person and I get triggered easily and I, I, I don't know how to control my emotions and, and, and um, I think it's affecting what I really want to manifest in my life. And I was just wondering if you had some ideas on how to control it or, how, or maybe a meditation, how I can get uh, more centered. Well, guys, we're going to unpack this today in more. Here's what I want to say, and I've said this before in many different ways, but I want to say it again more, more clearly than we've ever talked about it, that it's never about controlling your emotions, right? It's never about controlling your thoughts. It's never about controlling anything. All of that is resistance, right? It's about feeling whatever you're feeling and letting that run its course, because if you feel it to the end, it ends. Right? That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say, that energy is just one energy. It's the same energy that creates worlds. It's the same energy that keeps the flowers blooming and the trees growing and the, and the grass green. Right? It's that energy. It's that energy that makes your heart beat, that, that gives you life. That's source energy. That's the energy of God. That's the energy of infinite intelligence. That's first cause that's running through. You never want to control that. It's never about that. So what is it about? It's, a, it's about where are you putting your attention? Because where you put your attention, you know the, the expression, where your attention goes, energy flows. That's what we're going to hit on today. We've talked about thoughts. We've talked about beliefs and assumptions. Today, I want to talk about the astonishing power of attention. So you can direct that source energy, that love that's pouring through you in the direction of everything you want to be, do, or have. That's how we're going to hit it today. So remember, everything is energy. Source equals pure positive energy, that unconditioned awareness, that power of God, that source of God. That's what we're talking about. Everything is a manifestation of that one energy based on the vibrational mix and frequency in which it moves. Remember, you're, it's not that the energy, the energy vibrates, but it doesn't go anywhere. I, I, we've talked about this. Everything is energy and it's, all, it's everywhere in all time, all the time. So it's really about the, 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 vib the vibration or the frequency, right? It's not moving anywhere, but it's vibrating. It's moving in that way. So it's you corresponding with that, right? Each creation and manifestation has a unique energetic signature, an electromagnetic signature, right? There are an infinite number of possibilities or possible mixes of frequencies or signatures. And that's what creates the infinite realities, the infinite universes, the infinite manifestations, right? It's that one God energy, first cause, manifesting in an in, in, in infinite number of, of, of vibrations and frequencies that are universes and realities, and even versions of you. That's what we're talking about, right? Emotion is energy emotion. It's that pure, positive, loving energy, unconditioned in some way. You're conditioning that love in some way. It's only love and it's pure and positive and powerful. But when you condition it something unlike love, that becomes negative emotion, right? So let's unpack this a little bit more. So if you want to find the seek, this is, I, I brought this up before, this quote, this quote, um, by Nikola uh, Tesla. It's so powerful, but it fits today. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency. Everything's energy, and that energy has a, has a, has a signature, has a mix of vibration and frequencies that we call manifestations. And not only in the seen world, but in the unseen world, on all dimensions, and for infinity. Right? So emotion, love, energy, all that is, God, quantum field, it's all the same. Right? Emotion is that pure positive energy. Hear this, right? Well, you can't, it's not about controlling source because emotion is source. It's energy in motion. It's the same. We just condition it to create what we want in our lives, right? Where energy goes, 
where attention goes, energy flows, right? In other words, it's not the energy that moves, though it does vibrate. It has a certain vibration, a certain frequency. It's you or your attention, your intention and your focus. That's what moves. That's what you need to move. Move your attention. What do you get your attention on? What are you thinking about? What are you focusing on, right? Your attention, where it's focused, determines your vibrational mix. In other words, what are you corresponding with, right? What, what's your vibration and your frequency? What reality are you corresponding with, right? Where it moves, right? You begin to correspond with it, right? That, so when you're looking at something, Abraham Hicks, all the spiritual greats talk about this. When you focus on something, in other words, when you think about something for 17 or 20 seconds, well, you start creating it or you start corresponding with it. You start attracting it or manifesting it, or receiving it, or perceiving it, whatever you want to call it. That's what's happening. After 60 seconds, you're now in sync with it. You're vibrating with it. And then after a few minutes, then you start attracting it, right? So it's really, where are you putting your attention? And, and most of the time, our attention is all over the place. So we want to get something. We really want to manifest it, but, we, but we, our, our attention gets pulled from something else. Or we're feeling good and then our attention gets pulled on something that feels bad, right? So this is what we're talking about. Where's your attention? Ultimate reality, infinity, God doesn't move. It's your attention that does. The energy vibrates, but it doesn't go anywhere. You go. You go with your attention and your intention. You move and everything moves right? But your attention, your awareness of being can travel anywhere and it's wholly unlimited. Hear the power in this. Hear the power in this. Ultimate reality doesn't move, but your attention, your awareness of being, your awareness, your I amness, your, your awareness of your I amness of being part of this whole, part of this energy, part of this miracle that we call God, that we call source energy, that your attention can be anywhere. You can direct it anywhere and anything. That's why Jesus said all things are possible. With people, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26, that's what Jesus meant. Your, your awareness can go anywhere and focus that source energy anywhere and on anything. That's why with people, it's impossible, meaning with, just from your 3D self, with your, with your attention scattered and, and believing that, that emotions need to be controlled, then it's impossible. But when you start fl flowing that I am through you, putting your attention on that, then all things are possible. Nothing's out of your reach, right? I am awareness is God, right? Your awareness of your individualized I am or your attention is what creates and molds your world and your life. That's what creates reality where you have your attention, your individualized attention or your awareness is your I amness, right? <laughs> Pay attention because <laughs> it's your I amness, it's your power, right? And so attention determines what you perceive as real or manifested and what you don't. In other words, it determines your 3D reality, what, what you're living at. Attention, what is what you perceive as real or manifested? Wow, that's powerful. Let's, let's unpack this a little bit more. The reality you create or manifest depends on the state you occupy, your assumptions and beliefs, or in other words, your awareness of being. Who are you aware of being? That shapes all your assumptions, all your beliefs. That drives the whole creative process. Do you hear this? This is what Neville Goddard said, the spiritual teachers and other spiritual teachers, your concept of yourself. But it's that I am this. What are you aware of being? In other words, what do you have your attention on? Do you have your attention on that I am-ness, that, 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 that multidimensional being that can be, do, or have anything? Or do you have your attention on things in 3D that, that any, shiny gold, any shiny object gets your attention? Do you hear this? Put your attention on that shiny object within, that, that I am-ness, right? That power within. So, so where is your attention now? That's the question you need to ask yourself often. Because that's what's going to, that's the life you're going to create. Is it, on what, is it on what is perceived, 3D manifested reality, or is it on the perceiver? Hear this. You've got a choice to put it on the already manifest, the perceptions that are already created, 
that are looking at the past, or the perceiver, the, and even beyond the perceiver, the perceiver where the I am, the I am that's behind the perceiver, right? That's where you want to put your attention. You're the perceiver. But behind that perceiver, even behind that, is that I amness, that God power. God's behind it all, right? Stop worshiping your creations and worship the creator within your I am. This is what Neville Goddard would say, right? Don't worship your creations, worship the creator, right? This is what Scripture means when it says worship God. Worship that I amness, not idols, not your manifestations, right? Not the 3D world. Neville Goddard says this. It is your greater self, your deeper self, your infinite being. You cannot know this intellectually. You cannot substantiate it. You can only feel it. You can only be aware of it. Wow. Do you hear that? He's pointing to the power of emotion there with attention. You can only feel it. That's getting that emotional charge. And then you can only be aware of it through your attention. Emotion plus attention is a power that creates worlds. It's said right here, right? We're just taking another look at it from a just different angle, right? This is so powerful. Um, stop looking for the truth out there. The truth's within you, right? Discover the kingdom within. This is what Jesus and all the spiritual greats said, the kingdom's within you. In the Gospel of Thomas, the Gnostic teachings of Jesus, right? Saying three in the Gospel of Th Thomas says, seeking within, Seeking within, that's the saying three. Ultimate reality is within you and outside of you. I like this. This version talks about ultimate reality as the kingdom of God. I love this, right? This is the metaphysical teachings, the Gnostic teachings of Jesus. These are the ones that were lost, that now are found. Ultimate reality is within you and outside of you. It's your awareness of being, and it's everywhere. It's ultimate reality, right? And it goes on to say, when you know yourselves, then you'll know, then you'll be known. What does that mean when you know yourselves? When you know that I am as a part of the great I am, you'll be known, meaning you'll, God will know you or your greater I am will know you and you'll know your greater I am, right? God knows you anyway, but, this is, but, but when you know yourselves, then you, then you will be known, meaning that greater part of you your higher self, your inner being, that's a direct connection with God. You're now, you're now one, right? That's what Jesus, Jesus was saying. When, you've, when you know yourselves, then you'll be known. And you'll realize that you're the children of the living source. Wow. But if you don't know yourselves, then you live in poverty. And you are poverty. That's powerful. You're, and I'm not talking about material things or money, but that's possible. But we're talking about spiritual poverty because that spiritual wealth gives you all every other type of wealth and spiritual poverty gives you every other type of poverty, right? That's what we're talking about here. This is your awareness of being. It's everywhere. That's what Jesus was referring to. Ultimately, as within you and outside of you. It's your awareness, it's everywhere. It's, in, it's within you, and it's, and, it's in the, and it's in the outside world. It's everywhere, right? So this is what we're talking about. Almost all forms of meditation, I want to hit meditation here, are based on focusing your attention, your attention or your awareness of being in relaxing. So you said, well, what about a meditation? Well, that all forms of meditation are really about focusing your attention, so even if you do formal meditations, those are fine. Those are great. Meditation is so powerful. But you're always meditating to God all day long by where you're putting your attention. Where is it now? Because that's the life you're creating. That's the life you're living, right? So it's, so it's really about where you put your attention, your awareness of being and relaxing. That's what all meditations are based on, getting in a relaxed state. Neville Goddard talks about the state akin to sleep. Others talk about a sort of a relaxed alpha state, which I do, right? And just sit back, close your eyes, breathe easy, breathe natural, right? Breathe deep and natural. And then you, then you, then you focus on something or you focus on nothing. But it's a focus. Even when you're focusing on nothing, you're focusing on something, <laughs> right? You're focusing on that I am within. Right? So you're always focused on something. You put your focus on it and then it pulls you back. This is the brilliant thing about meditation. It pulls you back in the present. It slows down all that contrary thought, all that noise, and harmonizes you with source. But that's what attention can do in that moment where you're putting your attention, 
whether you're in a, in a meditation or whether you're not in a formal meditation, right? All sense of lack, of fear, of neediness and doubt comes from putting your attention on the outer world and trying to influence and change it from the outside. That's where it all comes from. All sense of fear, neediness, lack, right? Feeling you don't have what you want. All comes from putting it on the outer world, looking at what you don't want or looking at the unwanted that you, the, looking at things that you want that you don't have or looking at the unwanted and, and not wanting that and resisting that. That's what we're talking about. Trying to influence and change it from the outside. Your state of being becomes dependent on the temporal conditions of the 3D world. And this causes those various emotions, right? Because there's only one emotion, that's love. And it's the most powerful, powerful emotion in the universe and beyond. And, and, and before time, love existed, right? Before Abraham, I, I am, right? Before Abraham, I am. So when, 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 so when you are independent of the outer conditions, then you gain mastery over them only from your independence, only by identifying with that great I am, that love within you, then now you're mastering, you're no longer a puppet to the 3D circumstances and conditions. Instead, you're creating them versus reacting to them. Yep. So let's hit this a little bit more. Remember, what you're looking at is looking at you. We talked about this, everything's energy and that energy is vibrating, and that energy has a certain frequency and a certain vibrational mix, right? So when you're putting your attention on something, you begin corresponding to it, right? You believe in it. When you put your attention on it, you, it implies that you believe in it. It assumes that you believe in it. So even the law of assumption works here that Neville Goddard talks about. You're assuming it's a reality and you're assuming now that, that, that it's real to you. And now you start corresponding with it. You start occupying it, right? You begin to correspond vibrationally and with the frequency with a specific energetic form, right? And it could even be a thought form that's out there, right? There's lots of thought forms and a lot of them are negative and you can vibrate those. You can correspond with those. Right? That's why sometimes you go, well, I don't know what got into me. Right? If you have a negative outburst, you, you started vibrating, you started putting your attention on that, right? And you started attracting that. Other thoughts as well. You solidify your thoughts, attracting other like thought forms with your attention and your awareness of being. When you, mani when you manifest uh, 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 or perceive that reality. So that's how you do it. That's how you manifest or perceive anything. You, it starts with your attention. You notice it. And then you start putting more attention. You notice it and you notice it even more. Putting more attention on it. As a thought, as a th then you have thoughts about it. And then other thoughts are attracted to that thought. And now you start, now you start really believing it. And it almost cre it now creates a belief. And as you keep thinking it, it gets stronger and attracts more thought forms. And then it, beca and then, and then it becomes so real to you that you're no longer consciously thinking about it. You kind of store it in your subconscious because now you just consider it a truth or consider it reality. That's how it works, right? Beliefs, assumptions, emotions, they're all creative, but they're also created. This is the law of reversibility, right? That beliefs create, uh, beliefs create emotions, but emotions create beliefs, right? Uh, assumptions create emotions, but emotions create assumptions. It's all connected. Right? Whatever you, this is why when Jesus said, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. You believe what you put your attention on because you believe it's real. That's what, that's what Jesus was getting at here as well. Right? In prayer, as you put your attention on something in prayer and you believe it, then you, and you believe you received it, then it will be yours. So when you put your attention on things, especially the unwanted, you believe it's real. You're receiving it. You're creating it. You're believing it into reality. That's big. So, so what do you do? Here's a, so you asked for a meditation. A few videos ago, I talked about the overwhelming meditation. This is like that. So I want to go over, so this is another way I, I do it. It's really the same thing, but I wanted to go over it again because a lot of you have asked about it and I've been sending links. But here it is. Again, I want to refresh this. I really call this the good news meditation. It's like the overwhelming. But I, and really, guys, it's nothing complicated, right? And I'm sure it's out there anyway, but I want to show you what I like to do. 
So good news meditation. I just relax totally. I close my eyes. I have six points, not steps, just six points to, re to consider. That's all. No steps here. I, I relax. My eyes close. And I, I lie down. I lie back. I have a chair that reclines. I don't go all the way back. I lie back. Some of you might like a, a yoga position or, or just sitting down is fine. Or, or you could lie down. Whatever is relaxing for you. There's no rules here, right? Then I just breathe normally, but deeply, right? I breathe normally. I enjoy it. I, I just enjoy this part, part of my day. And I feel the fullness of that I amness. Ah, I just love that. And it, it's, it, 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 I feel the, and I can feel it. I can feel it immediately, the energy. The energy, source energy that you are. Imagine just feeling that. Stop a moment and feel that. Right? Don't condition it. Just feel it as I unconditioned I am this within you. Right? Don't try to control it or resist anything. You're going to have thoughts. You're going to have feelings. You might even have some emotions stuck in your body there. Right? Feel it all. Don't ignore it. Don't put your attention on it, but don't ignore it either. Just be dispassionate, right? Observe it. Let it be there. Now, imagine being overwhelmed with good news. This is the overwhelming meditation, right? Being, I, I love this. I'm just getting good news, and I'm not even conditioning the news, saying that it's coming from this or that. Why? Because when you get that feeling, good news, this is the gospel, right? Gospel means good news, right? That's what we listen to the good news, rejoice in the good news. It means rejoice in that I am this, rejoice in the God in you. You don't even have to condition it. But imagine when you start feeling like, how do you feel when you're getting good news? A lot of good news. You feel good. And when you feel like that, you're feeling closer to who you really are closer to that source energy. So do that. Just feel good news for no reason, right? Imagine being overwhelmed with it. The good news is coming to you from every direction. Feel the joy of being it, right? Now you know how your inner being feels. But, in, but remember, your inner being is infinitely more intense with that feeling. But you're, you're, you're getting there. You're feeling it. After, you condition, after that, you can condition it. Into a, into a wish fulfilled or whatever you want to condition it on. Once you're in that state, now you're in, your, now you're in that general state of that I amness, of that joy, of that good news, of the gospel, of, of rejoicing in your I amness. Now you can condition it, right? You can receive an image, right? Or you can conjure an image up of your wish fulfilled, right? And maintain that state and, and, and just basking it, right? Don't put any pressure on yourself. And there's no time limit. Right? Don't do any of that. Don't even set a, a specific time. Do it when you feel it, when you're feeling like you want to do it. That, that light touch is what creates the world of your dreams. That's what we're talking about here. That's how manifesting anything, um, uh, it, you can, that's how to manifest anything <laughs> with the pot, astonishing power of attention. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. And you can visit our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light, and just infinite gratitude. See you soon.